Hello, our travels have taken us to the desert. We're at the King Fahd Stadium in Riyadh. I'm Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And on the menu, live Saudi Pro League action coming right up. It's Al Nasser, and they take on Al Shabab. Yeah, great to be here. How lucky are we, Derek? We get paid for this. Astonishing, really. Looking forward to a fabulous game. I'm sure the fans are too. Should be great. Well, based on their record away from home, they are the envy of many. They know how to do it. Lee, what have you made of their performances? Yeah, four wins in nine games away from home really gives you an insight into the mental strength of this bunch of players. Carrying out the manager's specific game plan that is all geared up for picking up valuable points away from home. So the initial 11 for the home side. An element of caution about this selection. Yeah, 4-5-1, Derek. The five players behind the lone striker will need to support him. Lots of very strong midfield offensively and also defensively. The back four will be protected throughout the game. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Al Amri. Petros. Abdul Majid Al Sulaim. Martinez. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Holding on to the ball, waiting for the cavalry to arrive. Ball over the top to Banega. It might be on for opportunity it is and that was a heaven sent opportunity to take the lead so early first goal is so important Derek sometimes you're not ready well you really must be ready this early in the game Petros here's Hamdala They look as though they want to make this move count. Well, they keep the ball moving. Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. Struggling to keep the ball. Losing possession. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. the conclusion he's missed the opportunity Guanca. Can they get in behind them? But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Martinez. Here's Hamdala. Abdul Majid Al Sulaim. 
It's with Petros. Nordin Amrabat. Plenty of forward momentum here. But can they produce... And there it is! 1-0! Their efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, as we look at this again, what they always say, focus on the ball, ensure you strike it cleanly. He's done just that. What a finish. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Igor Lichnowski. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. Banega. Guanca. Igor Lichnowski. Guanca. Fabio Martins. And now Banega. Njai. They do pass the ball with authority. Banega. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Well, nothing he could really do based on the cross. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. And there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Excellent ball over the top. It's still there for him. Teammates available. Well, he needed to read it to get there, and did. So there it is, the whistle for half-time. And even though we think of the visitors as a very proficient team away from home, it's just not happening in this game so far. Well, all the best teams pick up points away from home, Derek. This group are the best at it. However, they find themselves down at half-time, need to rejig the game plan. I would love to listen to the manager's half-time team talk. Be on for them and that was a heaven sent opportunity to take the lead so early first goal is so important Derek sometimes you... oh it might be now the conclusion he's missed the opportunity Nordin Amrabat Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Alfred Njai. Igor Lichnowski. It is to be a throw-in. Abderazak Hamdala. Abdul Majid Al Sulaim. Now oh, that pass easy on the eye. In it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, here's the replay, and what a ball that is to put him through. And then the brute force and guile in equal amount sets up the chance to score. And he doesn't disappoint, does he? Well, a 
second goal for them here. Fabio Martins. Alfred Ndiaye. This attack looks high promising. Njai. Banega. Alfred Njai. And now Banega. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. The visitors have totally controlled possession. But after that, it's been really disappointing. Players are looking at each other. You've got to take control. You've got to take responsibility yourself. Make something happen in this game. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Guanca. On the ball, Seba. Crossing possibilities. Looks promising, this. Now, potential danger. And throwing himself at the ball. So the corner played into the box. Igor Lichnowski. Alfred Njai. Oh, good vision. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. And time for the change now. And over comes the corner. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Good pressure high up the pitch. Can they get in behind them? Could pull one back here. And he does! He's thrown his team a lifeline. The belief is back. Well, we see it again here, and the pace and accuracy of this passing is a dream. And how strong was he here? Incredible to hold off the defenders and get his shot away. Lovely goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. Well, if they carry on doing their jobs, they should be fine in this game. The fans are certainly doing their bit. Just 10 minutes to go. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. And intercepted it. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. What can he do from here? It looks promising.
This could be the equaliser. Is it going to be? He had to react and did. Hamdala. Well, there it is, the final whistle. And I wonder how many really were predicting this. They've been playing so well away from home, but today they have to accept defeat. Yeah, Derek, a defeat, and they will be disappointed, but it really could have gone either way. They were up against a tough team today, it has to be said, and they just fell a little shy. Unlucky, really.